This is Mrs. Robertson and today we're going to go over our equation study guide to make sure we are ready for the test tomorrow. For those of you that are not here, you can watch this video to make sure you are ready for the test tomorrow. Alright, so the first thing that we did in number one, it says simplify expressions. We changed our subtraction sign to an addition by adding the opposite, combined our like terms, 7x plus 4x is 11x, and negative 18 plus 2 is negative 16. That is our final answer. So the answer is 11x plus negative 16 or 11x minus 16. That's a simplified expression. In this one, we are going to have to do the distributive property first and then combine like terms. If you draw the arrows to both numbers, you are more likely to remember to multiply it to both numbers inside the parentheses. 3x plus 6 minus 11. Now, you have to com we will combine our like terms, but we have to add the opposite. All right, so you have 6 and negative 11 are constants. Um, so we can combine those. When you do, you end up with 3x plus negative 5, which would also be written as 3x minus 5. Any questions? All right, let's go on to the next problem. Solve the equations. Here you're going to get an exact answer for your variable. It's an equation. We're going to solve for the variable x. To get rid of a minus 4, you're going to add 4 to both sides. You show that step. Cancel. You now have x divided by 6 equals 6. To undo dividing by 6, you multiply both sides by 6. You end up with x equals 36. And if it asks for a check step on the test, you replace x with 36. Is 36 divided by 6, um, which is 6, minus 4, does that equal 2? Yes, it does. The next problem, you have to first get rid of the 17. Minus 17, minus 17. Draw your line and cancel. Line up your equal sign. X divided by 5 equals 3. To undo dividing by 5, you multiply both sides by 5, and you will have x equals 15. Any questions? On the next problem, if you don't like the problem written this way, you can rewrite it as negative x plus 9 equals negative 24 if you prefer to have it um, where it's on the other side. The variable is on the left and the value is on the right. Now, what I suggest you do is put a negative 1 in front of the x. That's a negative x, but if you have a 1, you'll remember to make sure to get rid of your negative x. Okay? You cannot end up with just a negative x equals. So, Let's go solve this problem. To get rid of a plus 9, minus 9, minus 9. You now have equals a negative x. What equals a negative x? Well, add the opposite. Negative 24 plus a negative 9 equals negative 33. That's not your final answer because that equals a negative x. How do you get rid of a negative x? you can multiply it by a negative 1 because negative times negative is positive, right? So, I'm going to multiply both sides by a negative 1. Or you could divide by negative 1. They both will uh, change x to a positive x equals a positive 33. Any questions? There's a good chance there could be something like that on your test since it's on the study guide. All right, let's go on to the next problem. Oh, we have a lot of subtraction signs. Add the opposite, add 
the opposite. Put a 1 in front of the negative 1x so that you see it a little bit better. All right, let's just zoom in on this a little bit more. Okay. Combine your like terms. You have a 3x plus a negative 1x. That equals 2x plus negative 8 equals 30. To get rid of a negative 8, you're going to add a positive 8 to both sides. You now have 2x equals 38. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. See how you are balancing your equation. x equals 19. Any questions? All right. First thing, get rid of the subtraction signs. Add the opposite. And make your subtraction signs obvious. Sometimes you do them, and if they're light, you don't see them. Make them nice and dark so you notice them. They want to be noticed. Combine like terms. 24x can be combined with negative 2x. That will give you a 22x plus negative 15 equals 51. To get rid of a negative 15, you add a positive 15. 22x equals 66. Divide by 22. Divide by 22. x equals 3. Any questions on the problems? All right, let's go to the next section. Which equation represents the verbal sentence? 20 plus means add. Sometimes I just write numbers. Product means to multiply. 3 and a number is means equals 64. Well, they all have equals 64. So I have 20 plus the product of 3 and a number. Product means they're multiplying. So that's add, subtract. It's going to be this one. 20 plus 3 times the number is 64. That is letter C. Any questions on that? You need to make sure you know product means to multiply, sum means to add, difference means subtract, quotient means to divide. Let's go to our next problem. Oh, any questions on that one? Okay. Joe has saved $1,050 for a trip. He needs a total of $2,250. Or $2, if he makes $50 an hour, how many hours will he need to work? Define a variable. I'm going to say H equals hours. You could have used another variable, but it will equal hours. My equation, well, 50 times the hours plus the 1,050 that he already has equals 2,250. How many hours does he need to work? Well, minus 1,050 from each side. You get 50 times H equals 1,200. We really need a couple more lines here. If that happens, that's okay. My check will be later on. Divide by 50. Divide by 50. H equals, what, 24? Is that what you have? All right. Then it does want a check step. So circle your answer for the check step. Does 50 times 24. When I multiply that, I get 1,200 plus 1,050 equal 2,250. Yes, it does. And there's the check step. Any questions? All right. Now, for the inside, let me go get the other paper. Your pattern 
packet that I gave you on Friday had the wrong inside piece. So if you didn't pick up this paper for bell work, you need to do it right now. So let's just work these out. So subtract 7. You now have 6 times x equals 3. Divide both sides by 6. x equals 3, 6, which simplifies to 1 half, or it could be the decimal 0.5. Any of those answers would be correct. All right. I'm going to, for the check step, I'm going to use 1 half. Um, 6 times 1 half is 3, plus 7 equals 10. Yes, it does. And once again, you could have used any of the numbers here to get that. Here, to get rid of a minus 9, you add a positive 9. Then you have x divided by 2 equals 9. And if you say this in your head when you do it, you remember, oh, that's dividing by 2. What will undo dividing to? Multiplying by 2. So you're going to multiply both sides by 2. X equals 18. Check step. Is 18 divided by 2? 9. Minus 9 equals 0. Yes, it does. Again, these are pretty easy. You can figure out the answer. But this is about can you do algebraic steps? Okay, that's what this test is about. Let's go on to the next one. Here, to get rid of a plus 1, minus 1, minus 1. You have 9 times y equals, you have to add the opposite. Negative 35 plus negative 1 is negative 36. To undo multiplying by 9, divide both sides by 9. Y equals negative 4. 9 times negative 4 is negative 36. Plus a positive 1, does that equal a negative 35? Yes, it does. You have to be careful with the negatives. Any questions? All right, on this problem, um, let's add the opposite there. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 2. That will give you negative 2x plus negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8 equals 10. All right, so now minus 8, negative 2x equals 2. Divide by negative 2 and x equals 2. Divided by negative 2 is a negative 1. I noticed on the quiz, kids, you divide by 2, but some of you forget, oh, that's a negative 2. You divide both sides by a negative 2. All right. You have to pay attention to that. So, check step. Does negative 2 times negative 1 1 minus 4 equal 10. Add the opposite. Negative 1 plus negative 4 is negative 5. Negative 2 times negative 5 is a positive 10. Yes, it does. The next problem. Here, any, oh, any questions on that one? Okay. In this problem here, the first thing you're going to do is get rid of a 5. Minus 5, minus 5. You end up with 3 times x equals, oh, add the opposite. Negative 15 plus negative 5 is going to be negative 20. Divide, oh, and that equals a negative 3x. I almost forgot to bring down the negative sign. You have to be really careful when you're looking at these. Now, divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3. x equals, it's going to be a positive 
20 over 3. You can leave it like that, or you could say it equals 6 and 2 thirds. All right? But I will tell you, on the check step, it's easier to keep it 20 over 3 on the check step. So let's just do that. Negative 3 over 1 times, replace x with 20 over 3, plus 5 equals negative 15. Again, make sure you see your negative signs when you write them down. So now we have, cancel that out, but it equals a negative 1 times a 20 is negative 20, plus 5, does that equal a negative 15? Yes, it does. All right, let's combine our like terms on this problem. But first we have to add the opposite. You can combine 24 with 3. They're both constants. So now I end up with negative 4x plus 27 equals a negative 1. Again, make sure you see your negative signs. Subtract 27, subtract 27. When you subtract, you add the opposite. Now you have negative 4x equals negative 28. Does everyone agree? Yes. Then divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4, x equals a positive 7. Let's check that. 24 plus negative 4 times 7 is negative 28 plus 3. Does that equal negative 1? Yeah, because you'll get 27 plus negative 28. Yep, that equals a negative 1. There's my check step. Any questions on that? Okay, then to the next part of your test. Let's go to the word problems. All right, it says you need to fix a broken window. The handyman charges $30 an hour and a new window costs $100. The total cost of fixing the window is $175. How many hours did it take to fix the window? Okay, let me make that a little bit better so it fits on there. Define the variable. On this problem, I'm going to say that my variable is going to be H equals hours. All right? You don't have to use the variable H. It could be something else, but it's representing time, and in this case, the time is hours. Equation. Um, I know 30 times H plus the $100 equals a total of $175. Now, kids, you could write it like this, 100 plus 30H equals 175. You could say 175 equals 30H plus 100. There are a lot of different ways you could write your equation and it still will be correct, okay? But you need to have these terms. You need to make sure there's an equals uh, 175. You need to have the term of a 30 with a variable and the constant of 100. Now let's solve this equation. To get rid of plus 100, you subtract 100. Draw your line. Line up your equal sign. 30 times H equals 175. To undo multiplication, divide both sides by 30. And you get the answer. H equals two and a half hours or 2.5 because if you have whoops did I didn't mean to put 175 75 okay yeah 75 divided by 30 
175 minus 100 is 75, and that equals 2 and a half. Any questions? Okay. You have $98 to spend. You buy a coat for $58. You want to buy matching shirts for your friends that cost $5. How many shirts can you buy? Well, I'm going to use the variable X equals shirts. If I use S's, sometimes they look like 5. So I'm just going to choose to use X as my variable. You don't have to use X. So, um, $98 to spend equals, um, how much are the shirts? $5. 5 times X, and you bought a coat. Okay? I sort of did this on purpose where I put the 98 on the other side just to see so that you can see what it feels like to do a problem this way. Once again, if you want to do it this way, that is fine. But you still have to show all your steps. So here we go. First thing you're going to do is undo your adding or subtracting. Here it's adding. And you're going to undo it by subtracting 58 and you end up with 40 equals 5 times x, divide both sides by 5, and you get 8 equals x. So you can get 8 shirts. Okay? Any questions? All right. Now, find all equivalent expressions. Remember when we did the distributive property where you could rewrite it? You look and see, is there a factor that can divide a 2 and an 11? I mean a 22? Yes, and it's 2. 2 times x plus 11 will give you that, and that is choice A. Um, let's see if this one... You have to do each one of these to see if it equals 2x plus 22. So let's try this one. First, get rid of your subtraction sign. 4x plus 2x, so that's 2x plus 24 plus negative 13 is 11. That one won't because it has to be 2x plus 22. That one. And see kids, these will be tricky on the test. You have to do each one and be very careful. These are the tricky ones on the, on the test. Here, negative 2 times x, that gives me a negative 2x. Right away, I know that's not going to be right. Can't be that one. Let's put a 1 in front of that, a 1 in front of that. 1x plus 1x equals 2x, and 13 plus 9 is 22. So you, those are your two answers, and this one you had two of them. Any questions? You have to do all of them to make sure that there aren't more than one, and they are tricky. You have to be very careful. What is an equivalent equation for the given equation? Okay. Well, I don't see anything. There's no common factor between a 3 and an 8, is there? No. Those aren't any choices. Well, 3x does not equal 24. I know that is not a choice. Here, 24 equals negative 8 minus a 3x. Well, when I add the opposite, is that a negative 3x? No, can't be that one. Negative 3x plus 8 equals negative 24. On this one, let's solve it. Well, if we solve this one, maybe we can solve this one and see if this might give us the right answer. Let's go ahead and solve this. Add 8, add 8. 8, 3 times x will equal um, 32. This one's sort of hard. Divide by 3, divide by 3. x equals 32 over 3, or 10 and 2 thirds. 
this one might equal 10 and 2 thirds. Let me double check this one here. I'm going to put it over here to the side. Negative 3x plus 8 equals negative 24. Minus 8, minus 8, negative 3x equals a negative 32. Divide both sides by a negative 3. Yep, look, because negative divided by negative makes it positive. x equals 32 over 3. So that one is a correct one. Letter D. This one I can tell is the exact same thing. 3x minus 8, 3x minus 8 equals 24, equals 24. That is also one that you can do. So for this one, it's C and D. All right, this problem. Let's go through and do the distributive prop, um, piece. 5x plus 40 equals 10. Is that one of your choices? It is right there. 5x plus 40 equals 10. None of the others will match. That one just has one answer. Are there any questions? You see how tricky those might be on the test? Just be careful. All right, and that is it. That is what's going to be on your test tomorrow, those types of questions. I have another practice test for you to work on today, and um, I will give that to you right now. Have a good day. First period, say goodbye.